From the Insert drop-down menu, select Tables, Design Table. I'll leave Auto Create option selected and accept the remaining default settings. SolidWorks then reads all the dimensions in the part and presents me with a window where I can choose which dimensions I would like to manage with the design table. To choose multiple dimensions from the list, hold down the control key on the keyboard while selecting. After I accept the dimensions to import into the design table, notice the toolbar changes and an embedded Excel window appears on top of the part with the names of the dimensions across the second row. All of the same formatting and functionality you'd expect from Excel will behave exactly the same here in this table. The first column is where the names of the configurations go. To add additional configurations, simply type in a configuration name in each successive row. I'll leave the first configuration name as default. The reason for doing this is so that the default configuration remains driven by the design table. In the next row, I'll input 6x8, and then 7x9 and 8x10. These will be the names of the configurations I would like to create. Next, I'll input the dimension values for the corresponding configurations. Keep in mind, the full capabilities of Excel are available in this interface. This is useful if you wish to control dimensions with mathematical formulas. Finally, when you have entered all of the configurations you would like to create and their associated dimensional values, Simply click anywhere outside the Excel window, and SolidWorks will generate the new configurations of the model. Notice a new design table listing appears, indicating there is a design table driving the model. And in the Configuration Manager, the newly created configurations are displayed. Also notice that each configuration is listed with an Excel icon. This indicates that these configurations are driven by a design table. When configurations are created manually, that is, without using a design table, the regular configuration icon is displayed. This can be very useful information, especially if you're editing a part created by someone else. Once you see the Excel icon, you should know that making changes to the part might be best accomplished by editing the existing design table.